So we got this old Phillips bookshelf hi-fi hi system that, actually I bought this one new. And press these buttons and just make some noise and wouldn't do anything. Tray wouldn't come out. So I took the top off. You got a screw right here, a screw back here, and there's one on each side. So there's four total. The size I used was a Torx T10 screwdriver. You take those four out, and then you get in here and take a look. What happens is it tries to move. This little thing, it spins. But as you can see there, it wasn't always spinning that. For some reason now it just caught. It's like there must be a spot on the belt that, there we go. See, it's not spinning. That's This is supposed to be spinning. And the belt is just like, I'm not having it. So there must be a dead spot in the belt. But we're going to go find a bunch of rubber bands. And just replace it. Shut up. And see how that goes. I was pretty upset because it, uh, it ate my Peter Gabriel CD. And we can't have that. We, we uh, yeah, you, you, uh, you can't keep me from my Peter Gabriel. That's, uh, it's bad news for you. Also, I wasn't too happy that it, oh, come on, took my, uh, Alan Parsons project CD as well. <laughs> it's still, uh, every time I, I think of this band, it makes me think of that Dr. Evil joke. <laughs> And the key to this plan is the giant laser. It was was, was uh, designed by the renowned physicist Dr. Parsons. Therefore, we shall call this the Alan Parsons Project. <laughs> All right, I'll report back after I replace this uh, belt and see what happens. <laughs> 